So let's take a look at one of the first scenarios that we can do with the exception handling block. The first scenario that we had talked about in the previous module was wrapping. And we can do wrapping very easily just by changing configuration. We're not actually going to have to change any of this code. So in this scenario, you can see that we're throwing just this general exception and we're giving it a message of my basic exception. Well, let's suppose that we don't want to throw a general exception here, or maybe this is an IO exception or a SQL exception or some kind of low level exception. But instead, at this point, we want to process this exception and wrap it and hide the low level exception in a bigger exception, maybe an application exception. We can do that very easily without changing any code just by changing the configuration. So I'm going to go into our configuration here. And we're going to change it so that this policy that we had set up for all exceptions is going to have a handler. So we'll just add our handler here. And we're going to add this wrap handler. Now we're going to give a message here. We're going to say this is a wrapped exception. And then for this wrapped exception, we're going to go ahead and choose an application exception. So now what's going to happen here is our exception that's thrown is actually going to be set to the inner exception of this application exception that's going to have a message of this is a wrapped exception. So I'll go ahead and save this. And we'll go back into our code here and we'll run it. And you can see here we've gotten to the throwing an exception. So I'll go ahead and hit F5 to run further. And now you can see we've got this caught application level exception. So we hit our code block here where we caught our exception at the highest level. And then we've actually just still hit the system exception, my basic exception. We haven't wrapped it. So what's going on here? Well, I wanted to show you this because this is a pretty common mistake. We need to make sure that in our configuration that we change the default here. So the default you can see is set up on our exceptions for the post handle to do a notify rethrow. This does not automatically throw your new exception type. What this is used for is when we manually handle the exception. There's another method that we can call instead of process called handle exception, and we can use this to determine whether or not we need to rethrow. In the cases where we're using process, most of the time we just want to use throw new exception. So if I save this now and we run, we should see the correct behavior. So we fit our exception. I've hit F5 here. And now you can see that we have a different message that has been put out here. We caught our application level exception, but this time we actually have wrapped our exception. We are spitting out a system.application exception. It says this is a wrapped exception. And then this arrow indicates that this is what is in the inner exception, which is just the system exception that has our basic exception. And you can see both stack traces are included here. So if we look, at this inner exception stack trace first you see it's happening out of my exceptional code and then that's the end of the inner stack trace here and you can see that this other stack is happening inside the exception policy intentional i rethrow so this new exception that's wrapped this wrapped exception is being created inside of the exception handling block 